Imagine a 16-year-old kid, hoodie pulled low, fingers flying across a keyboard in a dimly lit room. He's not playing games. He's cracking into some of the world's biggest companies. This isn't just fiction. It's the real story of Arian Kurtage, the teenage hacker who became a global sensation and a major headache for law enforcement. But the question is why? What drove this seemingly ordinary kid to risk everything for the thrill of the hack? Join us as we delve into the mind of Arian Kurtage. Arian wasn't just your average kid. Sure, he wasn't the star athlete or the class clown, but beneath his quiet exterior hummed a different kind of energy. From a young age, he possessed a natural affinity for technology, dismantling old radios and toasters just to see how they ticked. Legos weren't enough. He craved the intricate language of circuits and codes. His bedroom became a meeting laboratory, wires snaking across his desk like digital vines. While other kids played video games, Arion devoured coding tutorials, his fingers dancing across the keyboard like a seasoned pianist. He built websites, created simple games, and dove headfirst into online forums, soaking up knowledge from like-minded individuals. But his fascination wasn't always innocent. School pranks, harmless at first, started taking a mischievous turn. He'd hack into the school network, changing grades or redirecting announcements to his own witty remarks. The thrill of outsmarting the system, bending it to his will, ignited a spark within him. Teachers, initially impressed by his talent, grew concerned. Was this simply youthful curiosity or a sign of something darker? The line between playful exploration and malicious intent began to blur. His parents, supportive of his passion, struggled to understand the complexities of the digital world their son navigated with such ease. As Arian delved deeper into the digital world, the question loomed. Was he a prodigy destined for greatness or a problem child teetering on the edge? The answer it seemed lay not just in his talent but in the choices he would make in the years to come. The early pranks were mere child's play compared to the digital storm Arian was about to unleash. As his coding skills matured, so did his ambition. Gone were the school network intrusions. His sights were now set on bigger targets, corporate giants holding mountains of sensitive data. His first major breakthrough came with a daring exploit of Microsoft's cloud servers. He weaved through their security like a phantom, accessing and downloading terabytes of confidential information. The news exploded, painting a picture of a teenage hacker who had breached the fortress of a tech giant. But Arian wasn't seeking personal gain. He leaked portions of the stolen data, exposing vulnerabilities and sparking public debate about privacy concerns. Some hailed him as a digital Robin Hood, a vigilante holding corporations accountable. Others saw him as a reckless thrill-seeker, playing a dangerous game with potentially devastating consequences. He didn't stop there. Each hack grew more audacious, pushing the boundaries of his skills and the audacity of his targets. Uber's internal systems fell victim, exposing private driver information and jeopardizing user safety. Rockstar Games, known for their popular game franchises, saw their source code leak, causing delays and financial losses. With each attack, the heat intensified. Law enforcement agencies around the world scrambled to track down the elusive hacker. The media painted him as a digital menace, a lone wall for wreaking havoc in the digital landscape. Arian's exploits ignited a firestorm of debate. Was he a digital vigilante, exposing corporate malfeasance and holding powerful entities accountable? Or was he a reckless hacker? playing a dangerous game with potentially devastating consequences. His supporters, often tech-savvy individuals and privacy advocates, lauded him as a modern-day Robin Hood. They saw his actions as a necessary wake-up call, exposing the vulnerabilities of corporations that prioritize profit over user security. They argued that his leaks sparked important conversations about data privacy and corporate accountability. However, 
his detractors, including cybersecurity experts and law enforcement officials, painted a different picture. They argued that his actions were reckless and irresponsible, putting millions of people at risk. The leaked data could be used for identity theft, financial fraud, and other malicious activities. Arian himself remained silent offering no justifications or apologies. His actions sparked a complex debate, blurring the lines between right and wrong, hero and villain. But one thing was clear. Arian Kurtich, the teenage hacker, had forced the world to confront the uncomfortable truths about our digital age. The digital cat and mouse game reached its climax. After months of international pursuit, law enforcement agencies finally closed in on Arian. A coordinated raid on his London apartment saw him apprehended, ending his reign as the elusive hacker. The world watched in anticipation. Who was the teenager who had outsmarted some of the most sophisticated security systems? What motivated him to risk everything? The answers remain shrouded in mystery, locked away with Arian himself. The legal battle was fierce. Prosecutors painted him as a cyber criminal, demanding harsh punishment. His defense argued for leniency, emphasizing his youth and potential for rehabilitation. The courtroom became a battleground, not just for justice, but for the very meaning of hacking in the digital age. Law enforcement officials saw him as a threat needing to be neutralized. Cybersecurity experts debated the security vulnerabilities he exposed, calling for stronger defenses. Legal analysts grappled with the complex legal and ethical issues surrounding his actions. Arian Kurtage's story wasn't just a headline-grabbing hack. It served as a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities of our digital world and the complex issues surrounding hacking in the 21st century. Cybersecurity experts highlighted the over-sophisticating tactics of hackers and the urgent need for stronger defenses. Companies scrambled to patch vulnerabilities exposed by Arian's exploits, and individuals re-evaluated their online privacy practices. But beyond the technical concerns, Arian's story sparked a debate about the ethics of hacking. Was he a Robin Hood figure exposing corporate wrongdoings or a reckless criminal jeopardizing individual's safety? Some argued that his actions, however wrong, sparked important conversations about data privacy and corporate accountability. Others emphasized the damage caused by the leaks and the potential for abuse of stolen information. In the end, the legal system delivered its verdict. Arian faced consequences for his actions serving as a cautionary tale for those tempted to follow his path. Yet, the debate about his motivations and the wider implications of his story continued. Arian Kurtage, the teenage hacker, may have faded from the headlines, but his story served as a wake-up call. It reminded us that the digital world is a double-edged sword, offering convenience and connection, but also arboring risks and vulnerabilities. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.